click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the splitting of the D orbitals and based on that now we are going to understand that is why transition metal compounds are remarkably colored. So this is what I am going to talk about and now let us understand the reason behind this. So friends, in this topic we are going to talk about that is why the transition metal compounds are remarkably colored. So in this case, let me tell you that is a substance is colorful because it absorbs a particular wavelength from the visible region. And that's the reason that is it gives a particular color. For example, in case of transition metal compounds, if the transition metal consists of that is partly filled n minus 1 d orbital in that case basically as we have discussed earlier that is the d orbitals are those which have a tendency to form that is splitting and that is known as splitting of d orbitals so in that case because of the unpaired electrons or because of the partly filled that is d orbitals we can find that is there will be splitting of the d orbital and that is the stage where the degeneracy of the d block it will get break and the situation will be non-degenerate and that's the case that is where we can find that is suppose if all the five orbitals are of the same energy level but because of whenever it forms a compound or whenever the orbitals get split up so it splits into two energy levels and the energy level between them it is very much less so the sunlight or suppose the visible region so that consists of a wavelength that is sufficient to excite a particular electron from the lower energy level to the upper energy level so this kind of excitation of the electron basically that is from a d orbital to another d orbital is known as dd transition so based on that whenever a particular element or suppose if i'm talking about the transition metal so suppose if it absorbs a particular wavelength so that's the reason that one of the electron will get transferred to the upper energy level and it will come back again so whenever the electron will come back again to its original position so it will impart a color through a wavelength and that's the reason that the transition metal compounds are remarkably colored so based on that we have to discuss about the factors that gives the transition metal compounds color so what are those factors let me talk about that so the factors that are responsible for the color of the transition metal ions are basically the presence of the incompletely filled d orbitals in the metal ion so this is what we have discussed so therefore this is the main reason that is because of the incompletely filled d orbitals one of the electron or all of the electrons which are basically unpaired they can basically they can transfer to a higher energy level and this kind of transfer is known as dd transition so talking about the next point that is the presence of the unpaired electrons in the d orbital is also responsible for the dd transition and that is what we have discussed and now let me talk about the next one that is the dd transition of the electrons within the d orbital whenever the d generate orbitals are basically split into two different energy levels because of this splitting and because of this excitation of the electrons from lower energy level to higher energy level and again coming back of the electron from the upper energy level to the lower energy level this gives a reason that is why the transition metal compounds are colored in nature so talking about the other points so the other points are that is the nature of the group linked to the metal ion in the compound for example complex the complex compound or the coordination covalent compounds they are basically very much colored in nature and they have a remarkable color because of the metal ion basically present as a central atom in that and that's the reason that because of the unpaired electrons suppose if it has then based on that or in the d or metal basically so it will impart a color so this is the fourth point and now let me discuss about the fifth point that is the type of the hybridization in the metal ion in the complex so it also depends on the hybridization so i want to elaborate this point in my next topic but for a while let us understand that is the type of hybridization also gives a color and talking about the next one that is the geometry of the complex even the geometry of the complex can change the color or it depends that is the color imparted by the transition metal compound it also depends on the geometry of the complex or the geometry of the molecule so based on that this were all the factors that were responsible for understanding that is why transition metal compounds are remarkably colored but now let me elaborate one more thing that is suppose as i have discussed earlier also that is a particular wavelength is absorbed by the transition metal atom so in that case basically after the absorption it will give back the color so now let me talk about brief about what is actually complementary color so this is a particular diagram that is what i have mentioned over here and now suppose this symbolizes that is suppose if a red wavelength 
energy is basically or wavelength energy is basically absorbed by a particular transition metal ion so in that case it will impart green color that is the opposite color of it for example in case of that is suppose if it absorbs blue color then that particular compound will be of orange color and suppose if it absorbs violet color that that compound will be of yellow in color so therefore this is nothing but the complementary colors for each other and this is what we have observed over here so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much